Hello, welcome to the last in this series of pop quiz. Tonight's givers are Bob Gilder from the Boomtown Rats and Mike Rutherford from Genesis. First of all, to Mike's team, let's welcome Judy Zook. <laughs> and from Finland, he's Scott Gorham. And the skipper from Genesis, Mike Rutherford. And they're taking on Bob Geldof's team, who are Ian Gillen. <laughs> from Haircut 100, Nick Haywood. From their skipper from Boomtown Rats, Bob Geldof. Right, on to the first round. I'm going to show you each an LP sleeve, and I want you to tell me the title of the album. Judy, you're first. Have a look at this album cover. I can't remember. Oh, what well, you might do. It looks like it looks a like an eagle's one or something. Like You're right, half right. The guitarist. Is it the guitarist? What's his name? The guitarist. Judy, you know the guitarist. You. I'll, give you, <laughs> um, I'll give you one point for eagles, but Hotel California, no points for that. Okay. Yes, it was. Ian, what's the name of this album? That right? That's Roxy. It is. Uh, I, I, what's Roxy the name of the music? Album? Roxy Music. Roxy Music, absolutely right. Yes, two points. Uh, over to you, Mike. One for you. What's this LP called? Deja Vu. Deja Vu by... Christmas Steel's Nash. And, and Young. Young. Absolutely right. Yes, two points. <laughs> Bob, here's your LP sleeve. What's this? <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any particular one he had in mind? <laughs> uh, oh, one of their albums. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to throw it over. I'm falling asleep when I'm mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> There's one behind every hedge. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about being half cut, but it's selling England by the pound, Genesis. So you get one out of two. Scott <laughs> Gorham, here's one for you. Any <laughs> ideas for this? The four top <laughs> Foreigner. Yeah, what's the album called? It's called Foreigner. Four? Foreigner Four. <laughs> right, finally, this round, Nick, an album cover coming up for you. Uh, Pretzel Logic, Steely Dan. Pretzel Logic, Steely Dan, two points. Yeah! Right, at the end of that round, Mike Rutherford's team five, Bob Gilnoff's team five. <laughs> right, neck and neck, a uh, round for both teams now. It's a team round, so you can confer. We've compiled ten songs, all with baby in the title. All I want you to do is list the artists. Okay, so it's artists only, captain's pencils at the ready, and here come the babies. <laughs> Mike, how have you done? How many do you have without reading them out yet? Five. You have five, Bob? Well, we have five. We got one. <laughs> uh, Mike, who did rattle yours off? First one, I don't know. The second one, we thought it might be Little Richard. Well, I'll tell you at the end. Oh. The second one was Fred. 
in question mark, daily dates. They're a bit you know, the okay. same. Okay. Fourth one we didn't know. Fifth one was foundation. Six and seven got problems. Eight was equals. Nine, we couldn't agree. Ten, we thought might have been the four seasons. Okay. Tell you how many you got in the moment. Oh, well, I put into the first one Sergio <laughs> Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> it awful. And the um, second one, Little Richard. Then we had bread also. Then I don't know what. Then the foundations. B equals uh, Smokey. Smokey Robinson. And um, we put in the base City Rollers for the last one, but I, I, I think they covered it. But I don't think it was them playing it. Do you think it was them or not? Yes, yes, of course we do. do you think, yeah. oh, you <laughs> have I'll tell you, you have five each, and they were the tremolos. Here comes my baby. Little Richard's baby face. Bread's baby, I don't want you. It was bread. Uh, Figgity Witch, baby, I won't let you down. The Foundation's baby, now that I've found you. Sticks and babe. Yeah. Gladys Knight and the Pips, baby, they change your mind. The Equals, baby, come back. Stylistic, sing, baby, sing. And the Bay City Rollers, bye bye, baby. So at the end of round two, Bob team 10, Mike's team 10. <laughs> Still neck and neck, an individual round now. Ian, it's you to start. Here come the Kinks and Lola. Three number ones. Can you tell me two of them? Two points? Uh, well, Sorry? You, you really got me now. Oh, yeah. Um, that really must have been, yeah. You really got me this one. Um, yeah. Mm. Should tired of, so tired of waiting. Tired of waiting for you. Absolutely yeah. right. That's yeah. the other one. So you have your two points. Judy, over to you. I'd like you to listen to this. Tell me who the group is and what they're playing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you see, it was so obvious. And the other one, I had it, and I it wasn't reflections or something. No, no, I can't remember. The other two. The other two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one was from the underworld, and the other one was Paradise Lost. Oh, yes. Well, I'll give you one, like two for that, okay. which is quite fair, I think. Uh, right, Bob, over to you. Some yeah. rare song coming up at Procol Could you tell me who the two songwriters were? Mm, Gary Brooker was one. Did I sing this? 
Are you happy on that one, mate? <laughs> oh, I'm pleased there, Bob. I'm really pleased. Um, it was Keith Reed. Oh, Gary Brooker. Well, cool. <laughs> Keith yeah. Reed. Right. One point out of two. Mike Rutherford, your turn. Here's some traffic in concert, please. Sometimes I feel like I'm fading Traffic in concert, you're looking anticipatory. Uh, that was one of their top ten hits. Uh, Hole in My Shoe was their biggest top ten hit. Right? What were the other two? Paper Sun was one. And um, Mr. Fantasy. No, it wasn't Mr. Fantasy. It was what a good song. Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush. Was the other one. Oh, from that So you have yeah. one out of two. Nick coming up for you. A clip of the monkeys from 1967 doing Sweet Young Thing. Something very strange has happened to my brain. I'm either feeling very good or else I am insane. The seeds of doubt you planted have started to grow wild, and I feel that I must yield for the wisdom of the child. And it's love you bring, so that I can deny. With your wings, I can learn to fly through young things. Wonderful stuff, wasn't it? Uh, right, the I'm following three titles it. were major hits for the monkeys, right? I'm a believer, which got to number one in January 67. Alternate title, which went to number two in the same year. And A Little Bit Me, A Little Bit You, which got to number three in June. Which was the odd one out? A Little Bit Me, A Little Bit You, Alternate Title, or I'm a Believer? Um, that's a weird question to ask me, Mike. Uh, yes, it is, rather. I'm a Believer, Alternate Title, A Little Bit Me, A Little alternate Bit You. Alternate Title. You're and right, uh, but why are you right? Um, because it's sort of felt a bit nice, you know, it's in the middle of the other two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one point for getting the right one, but the extra point for telling me why that one was different to the other two. Um, perhaps one of them was Neil Diamond and the other one was another one, but one of them was a different writer. No, the, the middle the one was written by, by Mickey DeLenz, yeah. the other two by Neil Diamond. But I will give you one out of the two. Thanks. And the Monkeys series is going to be rescreened again fairly shortly, which is good news for Monkey fans. Uh, right, one point there. <laughs> no Monkey fans in tonight. Uh, right, here's a clip of the Amnesty concert in September last year, The Secret Policeman's Other Ball, in which Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton appeared together. <laughs> Feast of Guitar Heroes tonight, not only Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton, them to it towards the end of the program, but of Jimmy Page as well. But that's later. Uh, right, Scott, both Beck and Clapton had solo hits. How many can you name? Well, I shot the sheriff, Eric Clapton. Yeah. Um, was it a high hole silver, high hole silver lining yeah. with uh, yeah. Jeff Beck? Right, too. Uh, oh, come on. There's millions of them by Eric Lapwell. Uh, I can't, I'm just drawing a blank right now. 
Uh, Exad Layla promising to lay down Sally, knocking on heaven's door, swing low, sweet chariot, and on the uh, on the back front, <laughs> tally man and love that's is enough, blue. That's enough, that's enough. It's bad enough as it is. Unless you've got one point out of two anyway. The end of round three, Mike Rutherford's team 13, while Gildas team 40. <laughs> Still very close. It's Mike's team to start round four. Some film of the animals coming up for you, singing their first hit, which was Baby Let Me Take You Home. And while it's on, I'd like you to list all their top ten hits, or as many as you can. How many top ten hits did you get down? Oh dear. Oh dear. Um two. Oh. Which particular is it? House of the Rising Sun and Then It Begins from the Sea. Right, you could and have had... there, but I can't find it. I'm crying. Uh, it's my life to get out of this place. Don't bring me down. Two out of five. Right, Bob's team some film for you of talking heads, and while it's on, I'd like you to list their five LPs if you would. I can't relax. Can't sleep. Bed on fire. Don't touch me. I'm a real life liar. Let me go, girl. confident, are they? They just put their pens down and started chatting. Have you got five? Five. Great. Uh, Talking Heads, 77. Mm -hmm. Fear of Music. Mm -hmm. More songs about buildings and food. Remain in light in the name of this band. Of the Talking Absolutely Heads. right. Five out of five. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Mike Rutherford's team 15, Bob Geldof's team 19. Right, into round five, the lyric round. Ian, you're first to go. Where do you think these lines come from? It's the terror of knowing what this world is about. Watching some good friends screaming, let me out. It's the Queen of Bowie under pressure. Two points. Uh, Judy, <laughs> over to you. Where does this lyric come from? <laughs> the kettle is burning, the wheels are turning. What are you going to do? Well, it's free. It's free. And, um... <laughs> the best things in life are free. Hang on. My brother Jake. My brother Jake. Two points, yeah. It's great stuff. <laughs> right, Bob, where did these lines come from? Walking about with a head full of music, cassette in my pocket, and I'm going to use it. Um, Cliff Richard. Mm -hmm. And it's that thing you did. Wired for sound. Wired for sound. Great stuff. Two points. <laughs> Spot on. Right, Mike, your lyrics coming up. I've been haunted in my sleep. You've been scarring in my dreams. Would you like to hear Joni Mitchell? It's not Joni Mitchell. I'll oh, hear it. Hmm? It's the Rolling Stones. <laughs> it was the Rolling Stones and Miss You, and now it's Nick for yours. I'd catch a glimpse of her every once in a while, taking her meal or bathing. Oh, um, birds. Absolutely right. Yeah. What? 
How's that? And which song? <laughs> which song? Uh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Well, you've done no, well so no, far. No, no, no. Out of all the millions of groups, you picked the right one. <laughs> have a guess at the song. I'm going to cough, Bob. No, I don't think. I, I think I'm going to. I'll give you one for that, but you could have had one for this. Well, I'd keep your glimpse up here every once in a while. Just thinking of Yeah. <laughs> He was just about to say it as well. So one out of two, birds and chestnut there. Finally in this round, Scott, a lyric to you. Music is a world within itself with a language we all understand. Attention. Stevie Wonder is said you Music is a world within itself with a language we all understand. Okay, at the end of that round, Mike Rutherford's team 17, Bob Geldof, team 24. Yeah. Fingers on the buzzers, two points for a right answer in the quickfire round, one point if I throw it over to somebody else. Uh, don't buzz yet, because we've got a film coming up first for the spring. Yep, boys, away, 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 away. You said there's none of them were playing anything on that, but there's lots of noise coming out. Uh, the Springfields had two top ten hits. The two points, what were they? <laughs> two top ten oh, hits. Right. Yes, Ian. Silver threads and golden needles. Do you know when I was having a go earlier, I guessed that one. Everyone said no, it wasn't. I might believe it. Well, that's both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both wrong. Any more? Um. No? Didn't they do a token song? No, they didn't do that. I think they're all token songs. Uh, <laughs> token songs, yeah. I'll throw it over to somebody else for one, if you can tell me both songs. No? Say I Won't Be There, An Island of Dreams. Island of Dreams. Ah. Ah. Do you know that one? Let's sing a bit, do you? Da, 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 okay. in your island of dreams. No point, but I just... Ah. <laughs> just a bit of fun. Uh, right, who had a hit with Afternoon Delight? Afternoon Delight. Afternoon delight. Yeah. Nobody? The bus is not going very This is the slow fire round this week, by the way. <laughs> it was the Starland vocal band. Who had an LP called Ram? Yes, Bob. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, two points. Who had it from the sixties with One Way Love and Got to Get You Into My Life? Yes, Ian. Chris Bennett. And? The Rebel Rouse. And the Rebel Rouse with two points. What was the small faces? Only number one. Bob. Um... Uh, no, wrong one. Uh, one point to somebody else? But, yeah, Judy. Did you that? No, it wasn't. No. It was all or nothing. Oh. Uh, who had a recent hit with I Can't Go For That No Can Do? Yes, Nick. Daryl Hall and Jono. Daryl Hall and Jono. Whose album's running on empty? Yes, Judy. Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown. <laughs> Two points. Who had hits with Should Rather Be With Me and Eleanor? Gee, I think you're a swell, Mike. The Eleanor. Um, uh, well, no, gee, I think you're as well. Was it the Ryan Brothers? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Somebody else for one um, point. You have to yeah. buzz then. <laughs> yes, Bob. You need gas, is it? No, it wasn't. It was a total. Yes. Yeah. Finally, in this round, what was the Human League's first single? Oh, yes, Judy. You don't know. Right, over to <laughs> gamesmanship. <laughs> over to one, somebody else. The Human League's first single. Yes, Bob. Being boiled. Being boiled was, yes. Yeah. At the end of the final round, my relatives team 19, Bob Geldof team 31. <laughs> Well, that's it for this series. Hope you've enjoyed it. In October, we're coming back with a, a Beatles pop quiz. And at Christmas, guess what? A Christmas pop quiz. Uh, we'll show you some amazing film in a moment, which you've doubtless never seen before. Firstly, we'll say goodnight to the losers, and they are rather sadly Judy Sook. <laughs> Not so much losing, more coming second. Scott Gorham. <laughs> and also, Blaze, the skipper, Mike Rutherford from Genesis. But this week's winners are Ian Gillen. I wish I knew what that meant. Uh, from Haircut 100, Nick Haywood. And the skipper from the Boomtown Rats, Bob Geldof. So, sorry? You look so smug as you like it. Uh, right, so we'll see you in October for a Beatles pop quiz, and we'll leave you tonight with some very rare film of Led Zeppelin. Good night. <laughs> Time to the way you swing, gonna make you burn, gonna make you 